he's sleeping and he's on the couch. That's where me and him like to hang out. I'm supposedly the dramatic sister, by the way. Today, we are outside of All Animals Veterinary Hospital where my bird has just gone through surgery. Probably not see him through there. Let's see. How are you, Blue? Megan, he has like a prosthetic. Oh my god, he looks like Freddy Krueger. Okay. He just wants to fly around the room. <laughs> He's like, this lady? Can you just get me Brando? Hello my fellow snippers, flighters, and hatchlings. My name is Marlene McCohen, and welcome to part two of bringing your bird home from the vet after surgery. Probably before you watch this, you wanna go back and watch part one and part zero, because <laughs> there's a zero explaining what happened, and then there's a part one, and now this is a part two. So guys, my bird Blue has been at the vet, okay? He's back, today came back. However, Blue is uh, very rambunctious right now. He hasn't probably gotten to fly around and exercise in days. He recovered very well, they said, and it's been two days. He's gonna follow me out because he's looking for Brando. Come on, Blue, let's go. You wanna go see Brando? Let's go. Come on, Blue. right now. I'll make you something soft, mama, okay? Hungry for peas? I hold it for you, okay? I'm gonna make him some peas and vegetables and stuff, but I, I can see that he's hungry. I need to give him something soft that I can help him eat right now. Basically, I'm giving him our top pellets because they're so soft and they're cold pressed, so they're just easy to like smash up and turn into a powder. That's what he's eating right now. Boogie, he looks like Freddy Krueger. Yeah, he looks good though. He looks like he's healthy. I'm gonna make him some corn and peas. Oh, my God! Oh my God! Let me see. There's no way that's permanent. Is that permanent? You want some banana, baby? He's looking for apples and banana. Okay, come in. What do you want? What do you want? I literally am gonna get rid of you. He's been driving me nuts. And then on top of it, I he bosses me around. But then my roommate, cause my roommate gets him fat and feeds him everything, and he's like, looks at him like the love of my life. And then he turns to me and goes, I need to go to the restroom. When are you gonna take me to the restroom? My water bottle's empty. But then with like my roommate, he's like, hi, hi, let's play, let's cuddle. Just because he feeds him. I walked Harry today, saw this other cockapoo, loved me more than Harry loved me. I was like, Harry, you see this? See, I'm gonna get another one that loves me like this. He don't love me, he doesn't love me. He only, he only, he's like, he hears me wake up in the morning and he goes, oh great, she's awake, she can walk me. And then he stretches and then he comes and he's like, riff, riff. And I'm like, ugh. Brando only loves daddy. Actually, I don't get what's going on. It's actually not that bad. It looks so much better than before. Before what? Before. Like, this looks better than before. Okay, let's see what's happening here. This is not marked, okay. They definitely think you're a genius. Okay, no pressure. This was given once probably today and you probably need to do it again today. Also, it's idiot proof. Oh my God! Oh, this is, oh, he's not wearing the stuff. Look at him. Oh. We got him a Coco 
Nicola outfit. He looks so handsome. Doesn't he weirdly look like Danny right now? Because <laughs> he's wearing a coat. We took it very seriously with the thought of taking him to the vet and doing surgery because we know that kind of procedure can be a lot on a bird. And we did think about the idea of just letting it grow however it's gonna grow. But he's our pet and our bird and we decided that it's the best option for him and we're happy because his beak is gonna grow and not gonna split and he'll eat normally and he's thriving. And we know that like he's not gonna be in pain, which was our main concern. I thought coming home it was gonna be one way. Even before I went to the vet to pick him up, I really thought like it's gonna be a situation where we keep him contained somewhere else. Besides for the fact that Merlin's already contained, that's a given and a no-brainer, but I just thought like he's probably gonna to need to relax and you know, we're going to have to you know, baby him and kind of really take it slow and be careful before he comes to hang out with the other birds and that's my logic. But he has shown me otherwise. He was aching to come downstairs. He wanted to see Brando. He wanted to exercise his wings. He's been cooped up probably in something similar to a carry-on maybe for two days, three days now, maybe five days now. Okay, no, we're exaggerating just a little. Yeah, in all seriousness, guys, if I sat down to make you guys an official video on what to do when your bird gets home from a surgery, I would have been like, keep him contained, keep him away from other birds, make sure he doesn't get stressed out, don't let him fly around, be careful if he touches or grabs anything, and no, like, not, he's, he told me, you know? Yeah, he defined gravity. Yeah, those things would have actually stressed him out, you know? Yeah, could get it because defy gravity because he flies. Okay. Sing it, Megan. You sing, sing it. what? I don't really know it. What? Defying gravity? Oh, I don't know the song. What? From Wicked! He's sleeping and he's on the couch. That's where me and him like to hang out. I'm supposedly the dramatic sister, by the way. <laughs> Honestly, the biggest sign, in my opinion, for birds' health is how they stand up. Like, if they stand tall and strong, and like their feet seem strong and they're holding themselves up, I'm like, the bird is fine. But as soon as they get that, like, their chest and stomach is kind of like leaning in, you know? So like, if they're like this, they're good, but like they start like, mm. I feel like that's a sign of like maybe they're overtired or something's hurting them. I think I'm cooking something. <gasps> you are. What did you cook? Vegetables. Blue loves sleep right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother Blue. Blue needs his sleep. Let's do the medication. No, but he's sleeping. No, like I'll show you or do you know? Yeah, but you're gonna put it in his mouth, right? No. What do you mean? So keep this. Enrofloxacam. Oh, antibiotic. Yeah, these are antibiotic. This is probably So this is the pain, pain medication and this is the antibiotic. Yeah, which is why it's only once a day. What day is today? Thursday? No, Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Let's start with meloxicam. 0.1 mil by mouth. So what you'll do is they'll come in like a liquid. You'll put it in there like that. Oh, wow. Oh, it usually is supposed to fit perfectly. Or what you can do is open this and stick it in. So you'll put it in and you'll turn it over upside down like this. And then you'll bring it all the way up to point one like that. And then the other one will be a little bit harder. This is twice a day. So you'll probably have to give it to in the antibiotics. This is point zero five. So you'll do that one and you'll pull it down again. Usually what you can do is pull it back and then squeeze it back in until you get right here. So it's like even less. He's already coming home and showing off his stuff to her. I just love how I laid it out and he just found it on his own. He knows mommy's gonna provide for him. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but I put some vegetables for you, which I can just Peas, your favorite. 
I need them to go to bed nice and full. When taking care of a bird, before you go to a vet or after you go to a vet, you wanna make sure that you're in the right mind frame as well, that you're not panicked, that you're not nervous, you're not over emotional, so. It's okay to, you know, take some time just to kind of regroup. I love that he took that nap. And now I'm so happy that he's eating and then, you know, pretty soon we'll get him to bed and we will get him in early night. But I definitely wanted him to realize like he's back with family. That kind of traumatized me more, you know? Just for him to think like he was being taken away, especially since it's blue and he was taken away before, you know? He looks pretty happy. He's drinking. He's drinking from the apple, but his beak is definitely not strong enough to be dealing with any kind of seeds or nuts or anything like that so vegetables fruits stuff like that i love you guys don't forget to subscribe check out my flighters club that's my patreon links are down below we have a beautiful store called parrot station i love you guys so much bye